Thank you for welcoming me onto your screens. I'm Eddie, and this is The Rollback. Today, folks, I'll be reviewing Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Uh, I actually just finished watching the movie twice. Uh, once straight, and then I rewatched the first one, and then rewatched the second one. Uh, to kind of get more of a continuous flow of it. Um, so I'm going to be, I guess, kind of reviewing both movies at once, but talking mostly about the second. Okay, anyway, look, hear me out. Uh, Batman The Long Halloween Part 2 is definitely better than its predecessor. Not to say the first one was bad, it was a good starting point. But the second one really kicked off. Um, and I want to mention something real quick. I know this is going to be a little off topic, but bear with me for a sec. Um, I once saw a documentary about uh, the making of the first Godfather movie. Um, and the writer talked about how Mario Puzo, he was the writer of the original novel, and then he wrote the screenplay. That gave him a rare opportunity that writers want. Writers so rarely get, though. It gave him the opportunity to redo the movie as he wanted to. Uh, it gave him the opportunity to cut the fat, uh, work on more storylines. It gave him the chance to redo his story, essentially, uh, which a lot of writers really don't get to do. Once your work is published, it's out there in the world. Uh, but he had a rare chance to redo it. And that's him since... I feel like Batman, The Long Halloween, the films, were the writer's chance to redo some of the mistakes from the comic. Because while the comic is incredible, it's, it's a standard in Batman comics, it's not perfect. Um, there are quite a few flaws in the middle part. Like, the beginning's great. Motor act is a little wishy-washy. The ending is great. So, uh, that said, this movie felt kind of like that if that makes sense i felt like they were trying to add more story elements to it while ignoring other parts and uh it, to me it worked honestly um i'm just gonna skip through it a lot of good action sequences as is um they're actually doing like end credit scenes which i really enjoy um poison ivy's part was a little i think that's the only part that kind of dragged a little bit for me because i already knew poison ivy had you know Bruce Wayne, but they kind of made it more clear as to why uh, it mattered, his his part in it. Also, there was some good comedy, some good jokes in this. Um, there's a part where uh, Harvey Dent and the Commissioner Gordon are interviewing Bruce Wayne, and he's telling them, well, I mean, I can give you a statement, but I don't want to, because if I do, uh, I was on the boat with some young lady, and her husband might not appreciate it. And some guy says, uh, Harvey says, well, that's convenient, and Bruce fires back, eh, not, for her, not for her husband. And Gordon just laughs. I mean, I chuckled. Hell, I was watching here at work and I chuckled. Um, it was funny. Um, but really, the the last 20 minutes of this movie, like, everything hits the fan, the reveals. Um, I don't believe they made it so clear in the comics, but uh, the Roman actually knew Bruce Wayne was Batman. You know, there's a part where he gets shot by Dent. Um the Roman uh, basically confirms Selena Kyle is his daughter, which, if I remember correctly, he doesn't do it in the comics. Um, he confirms that, yeah, you're my daughter. Uh, as he's bleeding out, and Batman's trying to save him. And Batman tells him, you know, all we get in this life is what we take. And the Roman asks him, do you still believe? And, yeah, he does. It's an interaction that they had when they were kids. Well, when Bruce was a kid and the Roman was a young man, not yet uh, the made the godfather of Gotham that he be, would be going to become. That was incredible. And then they somehow step it up even further. Um, it's revealed in the comics not so subtly. See, in the comics, it gets a little jumbled because the Roman son says, oh, I'm Holiday, I killed everybody. And then Harvey Dent kind of says, nah, I was Holiday, I killed everyone. And then in the end, uh, it's not 100% clear. Gilda kind of says that she killed the first two and then Harvey killed the rest. But how would Harvey know that Gilda was the murderer or why hide it? Like, it, it gets jumbled. This movie does a better job of making it very clear it was Gilda that did it. Um, and her motivation, you know, her motivation in the comics was I wanted Harvey to have more time off from work to spend time with me so we could start a family. The motivation in this movie was fucking brutal and dark. Um, so it's made very clear that uh, the Roman won't... So, Sophia, I mean, not Sophia, I'm sorry. Gilda and the Roman son fall in love in college. She gets pregnant. He doesn't hesitate. He proposes immediately. Um, sure enough, though, the Roman won't tolerate it. And he says, you know, I'm not going to have you have a kid out of wedlock and embarrass me. Um, and they force Gilda to have an abortion. They, they, they pull 
uh, the baby in her words, and it broke her. Like she can't have kids anymore. She's barren because of what they did and how they did it. And she wants revenge. And fuck, if that's not a motivation, like, wow. Um, just right the damn man like they found a way to take one of the best batman comics ever made and make it better and that's not even like a low point like that's not even to say like oh that's all the movie is the last 20 minutes no there's a lot of good action and story going on throughout now that being said i feel like they could have done some things better you know i kind of wish that they had established a we never saw batman and the roman face off we never saw them go toe-to-toe or like have a conversation I kind of wish we had seen that. Um, I think in between the first film and this film, there's about two hours and 40 minutes worth of playtime. I think they could chop that down into a solid, like, two-hour fucking phenomenal movie uh, if you wanted to cut all the fat. Also, this feels like The Godfather. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but this movie also feels a lot like The Godfather because although Batman is the main character, he's by no means the only character. Uh, Typically in these kind of movies, you follow one character for the duration and you spurts with other people not in this one no you're with batman the you're not with batman the entire time with this one you have scenes where you follow the roman and his family and you understand why he does what he does there are scenes where you follow selena kyle scenes where you follow um commissioner gordon and harvey dent you know and this movie i mean this this story follows batman year one this movie feels like it lives up to that as far as establishing two-face as a serious villain also, it kind of establishes, you know, Gotham's bad guys becoming super villains. They, they go up a notch. Joker goes up a notch. So does everyone from Mad Hatter, Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, like everyone. And the, the, the reveal of Two-Face, not the reveal, but I guess the, the origin of Two-Face. There's just so much going on. But I think part of the problem is that there's so much going on that they fail to pay attention to some of the details. Again, I just I would have wanted to have seen Batman and uh, and the Roman kind of go toe to toe, or Gordon and and Dent go toe to toe with him. Not even in like a shootout, just like a confrontation of ideologies and why they do what they do. Um, but no, no. And also, uh, I want to give a particular shout out to uh, to I think it's Josh Jamal. I want to say his name, John, Jonathan Jamal. The, the gentleman that plays uh, Two-Face, his performance, awesome, on point. I'm sorry they didn't do a Jupiter Legacy Season 2, mate. Um, but that's it. Would I recommend this movie? Hell yes. If you're a Batman fan, you're going to like it. Most movie fans might like it. Um, B+, plus, I'll, be, I'll probably rewatch it again. It's good. It's actually really good. Uh, I can't wait for the fan edit, though, the two-hour Batman The Long Halloween two-hour edit. Yeah. Who's to say? Uh, that said, though, that's going to end it for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. We're putting out content on a weekly basis. Um, we also have a podcast that you can listen to in the links down below right there. Um, and yeah, I've been Eddie, and this was the Roadback. See you.